Hello everyone and welcome to Building Web Applications. My name is Steve Bishop from ProgrammingMadeEasy.com. Now today we're going to be talking about HTML elements. And HTML elements are the building blocks for any web application. They're the objects that make up what we see on the screen. So for example, here is a paragraph element. Now this entire paragraph element consists of the paragraph tags and the content. So the tags are this open and close P tag. We can see that an opening tag consists of an open angle bracket, the letter P, and the closing angle bracket. While the closing tag looks very similar, but has a forward slash in front of the P. The opening tag indicates the beginning of a new HTML element, whereas the closing tag indicates the end of that element. Then everything that goes between the open and closed tags is called the content. Let's go ahead and create some of our own HTML elements. So on my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and right click on just the open area here where there aren't any icons, and I'm going to select new text document. And this is going to create an empty blank text file. There's absolutely nothing in here. But I'm going to go ahead and rename this file. So I'm going to right click and select rename. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a completely different name of index.html. And I got this little message here that says, if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. Nothing to be afraid of here. But you will notice that once I did that, a different application is associated with this file. So the icon changed. And that's because I have what's called the Brave browser. Some of you might have Google Chrome or Edge browser. I like to use the Brave browser. And so this .html extension is telling my operating system that this is an HTML document. And the operating system has already associated any files with the .html extension with my Brave browser. So it will attempt to open it. So if I double click on this file again, notice that it is not Notepad that opens it, but rather my Brave browser. Okay, now I'm just gonna close this down. And I do wanna go ahead and open this file in Notepad. So what I'm gonna do is right click on this and I'm gonna select open with, and I've already opened it up in Notepad before. So I have the option of Notepad, but if you can't find it, you can go to this choose another, another app and you can select Notepad from the options. And once you get this index.html file open in Notepad, you'll see once again, there's absolutely nothing in here. It's completely empty. Now, don't worry, we won't be using strictly Notepad throughout this course. I plan on actually using an integrated development environment or IDE later on, but I just wanted to show you in this video that HTML is really nothing more than just text. Now let's go ahead and add our first paragraph element. So in order to do that, we're gonna start off with the open angle bracket, the letter P, and then the close angle bracket. And this indicates the opening tag of a paragraph element. Now we always need to make sure that not only do we have an opening tag, but we should always have a corresponding closing tag. So I'm gonna once again use the open angle bracket, but this time I'm gonna put that, that forward slash in front of the P and then the close angle bracket. And these two, what we call tags combined, make up the entire element. Now right now there is no content inside of this element, so it doesn't really do anything. If I just save this, and we'll once again open it up in our Brave browser, you'll see it really looks like nothing has happened because there's no content to display. It's just a paragraph element with nothing inside of it. So let's go ahead and add some content. I'm gonna go ahead and type in content goes here. And we'll save that. And now when we go back to our browser, and I'm just minimizing this so we can go back and forth to make changes. Now we can double click on this to open up in Brave browser and we can see there we go, content goes here. So we're actually seeing something on our browser now. Let's go ahead and close our browser once again, go back to Notepad. And now what I'd like to do is add another element. So below our paragraph element, we can add other elements. So in this case, I'm gonna do what's called a span element. So we just use span, kind of like spam, but without the M, instead we have an N. Now we always want to make sure that we have a closing corresponding tag. So we're going to do uh, open angle, angle bracket, forward slash, span, and then close angle bracket. 
So we always have a corresponding closing tag with our opening tags. Okay, now what's going to go inside of here is we're just going to say something like span content goes here. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that. Go back to our browser. So I'm going to minimize this, double click on the file again, and there we go. And now we can see we've got the content goes here from our paragraph element, but we also now have span content goes here inside of a span element. Now it doesn't really seem like much has, has changed about this, but notice that there is a fairly significant gap here between the paragraph and the span. That's because your browser sees this paragraph element and has some automatic or default uh, formatting to this paragraph element and provides some extra space around that element. If we changed this P to a span, let's see if there's any difference. So we'll save this, minimize, and we can refresh. Aha! So you can see that it moved that other span element to the same line or inline. So it no longer has that extra drop down. That's kind of important to know, isn't it? So we can affect the way that our elements appear by choosing the correct elements. So I'm going to just go ahead and put my P tag there and my closing P tag there. Save my changes once again, and we can go back to our browser. And I'll just hit refresh here, and you can see once again, span goes down below our paragraph. Now, there's one last thing that I would like to show you about HTML elements. So far, we've just been kind of adding elements one at a time, kind of in a row. But one of the things that you can do is nest elements inside of each other. So, for example, let's take this paragraph. I'm going to remove the content goes here from inside of it. And notice that I can move this closing paragraph tag down below to another line. And everything between this open paragraph tag and closing paragraph tag is still going to be considered part of the paragraph element. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to add another element inside of this paragraph element. And that element is going to be called a strong element. So I'm going to add the open strong tag and the close strong tag. And then inside of this strong element, I'm going to add the content of strong content goes here. All right. So we have, once again, a paragraph element that starts from up here and goes down here. And inside of that paragraph element is another element or what we call a nested element. And that nested element is a strong element. And then inside of that strong element is the content, strong content goes here. So let's go ahead and save those changes. And let's take a look at what this shows on our browser. So if I go back to my browser, just make it full screen here and hit refresh. Ooh, strong content goes here is now bold or what we call strong. So the ability to add different elements and even nest those elements inside of other elements are how we start to format our HTML document. It's how we start to form the building blocks of what the user sees on the screen. Special thanks goes to these members who, without their contributions, would not make this series possible. Thank you.